So you're looking to buy a monthly full subscription, but you don't know how well it does. Uh, or you watch my other video where I talk about Motley Fool and the 10 stocks that I bought. Officially, I bought the stocks on November 19th. Uh, and so today being January 18th, I thought it would be a good time for me to do a two month update in terms of how well it did. And talk about a, a couple more stocks that I bought along the way. And in that video, I also talked about uh, the things that I like and don't like uh, from Motley Fool. And I will also talk about my experience of using Motley Fool during this time. And we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Zhang Ho and welcome back to another video. If you're interested in personal finance, self-improvement, and any other videos related to Motley Fool or any updates to that, make sure you subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, it's pretty crazy that it's already been two months since I bought the 10 stocks. And along the way, I bought a couple more. And so I'll share about the 10 stocks first in terms of how well it did. And then tell, I'll tell you about other stocks that I bought as well and how much I'm up. So as you might probably know, Mommy Fu has already paid for itself. And the question I've been asking myself as well as uh, the question you might be asking is, is Mommy Fu worth it? So I believe that Mommy Fu was worth it because it already paid for itself within two months. And I obviously had another 10 months on the subscription left. And so I think being that I already paid for it and profited a little bit more, I believe it's worth it. Uh, but for you, it may be a different uh, question. In the first video, I invested around $1,000. In, in the app, you're able to see that I invested $2,562.97. Or at, that is a total of the amount that I have. And so I am up $262.97. Up 11.43%. In my opinion, having 11% return within two months is absolutely great. Even having 11% for your overall yearly growth is pretty good. And so in my opinion, just having this investment uh, where I'm not just investing for two months right now, but I'm looking to invest this for a couple of years, uh, it already paid for itself and more. I believe having those two subscriptions with uh, Stock Advisor and Rule Breaker uh, has really set me up in terms of making sure that I have great investments in the coming years. Obviously, in the course of the year, I'm going to invest in more, uh, but this is what I have so far. And so right now, uh, I'm going to go back down. You do see a buying power of three cents. Uh, that is a dividend that I got. Uh, but since you need a dollar to invest in a fractional share, I'm not able to reinvest that. So today is January 18th. Uh, so the market is closed for um, MLK Junior's Day. As you can tell here uh, in this screen, uh, you can see the 10 different investments that I made so far and not all of them are up actually uh, i invested a hundred dollars for each of them and so anything that's under a hundred dollars i lost money uh, but anything over a hundred dollars had grown into that amount so here replogen uh, is doing quite well up 15 percent activision is 18 percent uh, those two are doing pretty well uh the other ones that are doing pretty well is uh zanga uh, up 17 percent uh datadog uh is up 10 percent Exxon is up 21%. And then I believe Zebra is the last one that I invested in. And Zebra is up uh, 13% as well. As you can see, Amazon actually lost money since the time that I had uh, put in money. And then Facebook is down quite a bit actually, um, down 8%. So out of the, the 10, except for the one that I got for free, um, eight out of the 10 have come up positive and Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six out of 10 of them have grown to more than 10%. Uh, and that is quite significant, uh, given that it is very hard to predict which of the stocks will go up. And having six out of the 10 um, growing at 10% within two months, uh, that, that's, that's great. Uh, picking investments that might lose money as part of investing, especially in individual stocks. Uh, but you definitely want to be uh, focusing on stocks that will grow a lot. But uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add up all of these 10 investments and see how much you grew from that $1,000 investment. Two plus two is four minus one. That's three quick maths. Out of the 10 investment that I made, I grew to around $1,103.68. What's great about doing this during a holiday is that the market doesn't move right now and so the numbers are staying where it is. 
Using that $1,103, you want to subtract the initial $1,000, I'll divide that by the same thousand that you invested in. And then if you multiply that by 100 to get the percentage, you're able to get 10.3% growth. And let's say uh, this continues to grow at this pace, uh, which probably will not be, um, but, and let's say you convert this into annual number, it will come out to around 62% growth. Even though it grown about $103, this actually pays for one of the services and i'll go into the other investments that i made so far that made the other hundred dollars what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna scroll through all of the investments that i've made so far and focus on the ones that did really well and focus also on the ones that didn't do as well as i've hoped to out of, out of these investments uh four did really really well uh, and so just in comparison let's see uh, in terms of the first 10 that i invested in uh, exxon did the best so far at $121.96. And so that was two months ago. And so in comparison, uh, there was a couple that did really, really well. It, it may also to do with the fact that I bought it as soon as the email came out recommending these picks. And so uh, the four that did really well is Chegg. Uh, it's at $133.59. So all of these are the same thing as the other ones where I invested $100 for each of these. So another one that did really, really well is Lemonade. Uh, it's at $180.54. Uh, Fiverr did quite well as well. Uh, it's at $128.49. And lastly, uh, CrowdStrike uh, Holdings really well, given that it's at $137.81. And so in comparison, uh, given that Exxon is at $121, it doesn't necessarily mean that the longer you invest in something, the better it does. And so all of these stocks um, were bought after the first initial 10. And so because of that, uh, these stocks did really well according to the timing of it. And so I think what I like about Molly Fool is that it does focus on the growth of a stock given maybe three to five year time span. Uh, but you do see that uh, in a short amount of time with these things, uh, some of these stocks, I I've owned less than two months and it's already up for, let's say for Lemonade, it's up 80%. And I can't guarantee that it's going to continue to grow over the next year or at the same pace. But because Motley Fool recommended it at the time it did, I was able to invest right away and capitalize in the, in the growth of it. So I do see a two sides of the story for this. Uh, one is to say, if you do have Motley Fool service, you're able to capitalize in the timing of it as well as the picks that they give you. You can see that I was able to recoup a lot of that money back in a very short amount of time. However, I could also see on the other side that it is $100 per year for per service. And so it is quite hefty in that. Uh, and so feel free to continue to watch these videos uh, and uh, just look at the, the stocks that I'm picking and choose what you believe will do well in the next three to five years. But if you do wanna sign up, I'll put the, the link in the description. Um, but feel free to continue to kind of uh, engage with me in the conversation to see which of these stocks that you've seen so far uh, will continue to do well. When it comes to individual stocks, you will have losers or the ones that don't do well so far. Obviously, uh, this is only looking at the two months and obviously it could continue to bounce back, but there are ones that are not doing so well. I, I know I spoke about Amazon and Facebook already and so going down, and so NVIDIA had lost money, Adobe also lost money, uh, JD.com also lost money, uh, MA is MasterCard, Now is ServiceNow, DL is Blackline, and then the last two is Fubo and Coupa Software. So I counted about 10 stocks that have lost money out of 23 investments that I've made. And that's roughly around half of them that have lost money. Uh, but because of the ones that are doing really well, uh, that makes up for the loss that I've made and a little bit more profit. And so in total of all of these investments, I am up $262.97. And because the service is around $99 each, uh, it's around $200, I'm roughly up around $60. And so obviously this is only uh, two months in. If I'm able to continue to grow at this pace, Obviously that $200 already paid off. Everything up to this point, plus more, I'm able to get more profit. Now I wanna quickly talk about two things I really like about 
the service so far and I've, I've briefly mentioned this in my previous video one thing that it does definitely make you money uh, they, their picks are great uh, you can see here that you're able to get a lot uh, there are a lot of comments and people who don't like Molly Fu and that's totally fine I understand that a lot of the free services and a lot of free advice is not quite good uh, given that they don't want to spill all the beans I'm serious about this stuff uh, and kind of share everything they know uh, they do want to make sure that people who are paying for the service gets that premium advice so I do understand both sides in that case of the people who don't like Motley Fool and the free service as well as Motley Fool not wanting to share too much of the good stuff and in terms of the two services I paid for with Stock Advisor and Rule Breaker uh, they do definitely make money um, but not only are they able to make some money uh, but they're able to uh, cover the cost of that hundred dollars for each service plus more and the second thing I really like about it is what to pick and why you should pick it uh, they talk about a lot of numbers but also they talk about the qualitative side of uh, the management team or what they're trying to do and how the company is trying to stay ahead of the competition so i certainly like that uh, those two things about it given that i really went into uh, this for i wanted to be able to come out on the positive side uh, of the investments but also learn along the way in terms of why i should pick those investments so if there's one thing that i don't like about the Molly full service is the fact that you get a lot of emails whether it's uh, marketing or uh, any other services they are selling so you can tell in this email right now I'm looking at, uh, I got one even earlier today, two yesterday, and then another one two days before that, and then two again the, the day prior to that. And this is on top of the weekly uh, emails that they send you for the stock picks. Uh, obviously you could unsubscribe from those emails as well, um, but that is definitely uh, a con in that case where they are bombarding you with a lot of material and emails. So that pretty much wraps up the video. If you like this content or you found it helpful, uh, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps the channel out a lot, uh, as well as it tells me what kind of videos that you guys are looking for. The question of the day is, what out of the ones that did really well so far will continue to do well? And which of those 10 stocks that have lost money so far will bounce back and be able to make up uh, for the difference and be able to grow a little bit more? But besides that, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.